Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Skincare Saturday. So today for you, I have the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance um, Mud Mask. It's quite a mouthful, but if you'd like to see if this expensive mask is worth it and see me apply it and get my little mini review, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty. So it can be skincare, it can be fragrance, makeup, hair, it really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page, that way you can come on back and watch whenever you would like to. I also do a live stream every single day of the week, Monday through Saturday. It is at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and on Saturday, Sundays, sorry, on Sundays, it is at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come hang out, come chat with me. I really love getting to know my viewers and subscribers. Okay, so I picked this up a little while ago from my local grocery store. This is from the brand Shea Moisture. I did get it on sale for 99 cents, but it regularly retails for $4.00. Or half an ounce that is incredibly expensive in my book that is crazy I mean four dollars you can buy a six ounce tube of Freeman's mask for that price I mean that's incredible but this is cruelty free it's family owned and operated it's certified organic fair trade ingredients all that great stuff so yeah there is a reason why it is a little bit more pricey but this is a radiance mud mask so it's supposed to dry out impurities and help with oil and dirt and everything, but leave you more radiant. This also does have organic coconut oil. It is pretty low on the list, so that is why I'm using it tonight. I usually don't enjoy coconut products on my skin. My skin doesn't like it, but it is really low on the list. But first ingredient is water and then, um, let's see, calolin ca clay, um, glycerin, um, there's, um, let's see, shea butter, hibiscus, rose flower extract, jasmine extract. There's a lot of um, fruit and flower extracts in this, so I thought I would give this a try, but it's supposed to help dull skin. Um, so, yeah. And it does also have um, sangi mushroom. I'm not going to be able to pronounce that, but which I think is cool. I'm only going to use half of this. I don't even know if I need to use half, but I'm just going to go ahead and get some of this brought up to the surface. I don't know. $4 seems extremely pricey for half an ounce of mask, but it smells really good, though. I can smell the hibiscus and the jasmine. But Um, that's a little tingly. That's very tingly, actually. Um, that's weird. I did a light exfoliation, but I don't exfoliate deeply or anything. Um, so, that's a little worrisome. Uh, okay. It smells really good. I feel like my head is way too big for this little towel. Just does not sit right. Okay. Okay, so I'm just getting out, because I'm gonna fold this over and pin it closed with a bobby pin. So I'm just wanting to make sure I'm getting everything that I can away from the edge. Okay, so we're gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. And we'll go ahead and just let this do its thing. And then we'll come back, show you what it's looking like, and rinse it. But the tingling has subsi subsided. There we go. Words. But. Okay. I think we're going to be good to fold it over. But. Okay. See you here in a little bit. Hello, so it's been 10 minutes. Um, it's totally dried down except for around my eyebrows, but something I have learned is don't leave your mask on for longer than the instructions say. So I'm gonna go in and rinse my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so face is rinsed and my skin does feel really, really soft and smooth. I think it looks pretty clean as well. Um, it was really easy to get off. I've had some clay masks where you pretty much have to scrub them off you know, I think we've all experienced that, but 
this did rinse away cleanly. Um, yeah, for it being a mud mask, um, it's very soft. Um, I don't know if it looks any, like, my skin doesn't look as dull. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there, if some of these extracts have, like, kind of like a chemical exfoliation. That would make sense to help with dullness, and it would also explain the slight tingling that I felt when, with first application. This one's rough for me, because I do think it's a good mask from first use. Um, I really like the smell, I, I like the way it left my skin feeling, but it's $4 full price. I mean, that's incredibly expensive for half an ounce. I mean, I probably have one more use, if that. Ah, it smells really good though. Um, but like I said, it is organic. Um, there are really good stuff to it, so I, like I said, I do understand the price, but I don't know if it's, to someone like me, I don't know if it's worth the money. Um, I think if you can find this on sale, I think it'd totally be worth picking up, but not if you're going to be spending full price. Um, but I know Shea Moisture is very popular, and I do know it is a good brand, so I'm kind of conflicted. If I found this on sale again, would I purchase it? Yes, I sure would. Would I spend full price on it? No, I wouldn't, just because it is very pricey. And I've got some great f masks from Freeman's um, that is, they're amazing, and they're that price for a whole six ounce tube, like I was saying. So yeah, it's a good mask. Um, I do enjoy it, and I will definitely enjoy getting use out of it, but it is pretty pricey. Do you notice the zip that I have right here? It's feeling pretty crusty, which is good. So like I said, it's surprising to me. My skin feels soft and smooth. Doesn't feel dry or tight, but like my zit's crusty. So yeah, I I do like it and I think it's a good product, but it is a little pricey. So if it's within your wheelhouse, if it's within your budget, then I do think you would really enjoy the Shea Moisture um, Coconut, Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Mud Mask. It is a good product, but um, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it down below. I'm assuming it's gonna be very pricey on Amazon. Um, it's going to be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't need to. But if you're really dying to try it, it will be linked down below for you. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's um, Skincare Saturday. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. What is the priciest face mask that you have used? I think for like the amount of product, I think this might be it. I've tried Glam Glow. <sighs> I don't know. Like, I think they are almost tied price-wise, and this is, like, kind of drugstore brand, so surprising. But, yeah, let me know down below what's your most exp expensive face mask that you've tried. I'd love to know down below in the comments, and um, just so you know, I do have another channel. It's all about budget food, so recipes, taste tests, little shopping haul, stuff like that. I upload on that one seven days a week as well. I'll leave a link down below for you if you'd like to go subscribe. I would appreciate it, but only if you want to, and don't forget... You're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.